Hello again. This micro lecture is going to be on velocity time graphs of acceleration. So what that means is we're going to look at graphs of velocity on the y-axis, time on the x-axis, and ones that are showing, so those types of graphs that are showing acceleration, so changes in velocity or changes in speed. As always, you need three bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentences in the summary, and you need to do the follow-up questions on Google Form. All right, so as we get started, let's go ahead and review a little bit first. So in the previous unit, we talked about velocity graphs as showing uh, constant velocity, so when uh, motion was uniform. One example of that was a constant velocity of zero. This was basically not moving. What's important to note here is what this shows is the velocity as time goes on is literally zero this entire time, which means the velocity isn't changing. It's constant. It just happens to be zero. Alternatively, we could look at a constant positive velocity, where literally the velocity is positive, 5 or 10 or whatever it would be, um, the entire time. So that means as time goes on, the velocity value doesn't change, so it's a flat line. Or a constant negative velocity, where the velocity is a negative value the entire time, and that value isn't changing, so therefore these are constant velocity graphs. The acceleration is zero. It doesn't exist. So what we might expect then is if something is accelerating, the line either needs to be going up or it needs to be going down to show that it's accelerating. So positive acceleration is shown with a line that is increasing or a positive slope in this case. It could actually exist below the x-axis. That's fine. But the slope will give us kind of the acceleration, which will be the focus of a different lecture. But in this case, positive slope or an increasing line shows a positive acceleration. A negative acceleration would just be a slope that is getting more, or a velocity that's getting more and more negative or heading more towards the negative range. In this case, negative slope gives us negative acceleration where literally the velocity started in this case at zero and as time went on it got less or the velocity got more negative and more negative and more negative and more negative and so therefore it's negative acceleration. Now these graphs could also look like this where positive acceleration um, of something that's going in the opposite direction means that it's slowing down and then eventually it crosses the axis so this is where it's going zero and then eventually it begins to pick up speed or velocity in the positive direction or opposite of direction of where it was going. This one represents something that started with a positive velocity, but the acceleration is going the opposite way. So it's slowing it down. The velo uh, velocity is getting more and more towards a negative section uh, until finally it stops right here. And then it begins to go the opposite direction is what this means. So in other words, the velocity gets more and more negative now, or it continues to get negative, but it's uh, increasing speed in the opposite direction. That's it for this one. You might want to rewatch this a couple of times or maybe practice a few things because although those uh, that may have been quick, um, it's a little tough to kind of grasp what these graphs mean. You need three bullet points or more worth of notes. You need a one to two sentence summary and you need to do the follow up questions on Google Forms.